we're going to talk for a couple of minutes about three of the basic means by which a robot can move itself across a, a surface or wherever it is you're trying to move it. And these three types include a two-wheel drive system, a treaded system, and an all-terrain or all-wheel drive system. Now the first one is a two-wheel drive, probably the most common way that you'll find a robot, and that's with two motors mounted. Each motor has one wheel on it, so when you turn that motor on, it operates that particular wheel. And this is coupled with some kind of a pivot wheel attached at the other end. The purpose of the pivot wheel is to help hold the robot up so it's not dragging on the ground. And the pivot wheel will follow along with the rest of the robot wherever it's going. That's probably your most simple robot. Two motors, two drive wheels, and some kind of a pivot wheel. Now, this is a treaded robot. Many of the kits come with treads. Many other folks just have the treads separately. If you want a brand new set of treads from Lego, it's about $10. What we have here is a chassis. We've got two motors, We've got the NXT. One motor will run one of the drive treads. And the cool thing with treads is that the tread itself causes any other wheels attached to it to also turn. So this will cause one side to run. This motor will cause the other side to operate. So that's a treaded robot. Uh, when they turn, they turn on their treads. There's no other wheels holding up the, uh, up the structure. This, the all-terrain or all-wheel drive robot, again, it's got a chassis. It has two motors. One motor is attached to a wheel, and then a series of gears bring that power up to the other wheel. So both wheels on one side operate independently, and then the wheels on the other side operate together independent on this side versus that side. So we have there the three basic types. All of these robots are steered by turning one side or the other side on. If you want it to go straight, you turn both motors on and run forward. If you want to go back, you turn them both on backwards and they'll go backwards. In order to turn, you would either turn one side on more powerfully than the other side or turn one on forward and the other one backwards, which would cause it to spin around and rotate. So those are your three basic drive systems. Two wheels with a pivot, a treaded system, or an all-wheel drive system.